once again welcome back to this new lesson good evening everybody welcome back to this new lesson once again after such a long period of time i hope that you all are fine and i'm also very fine i hope that you will like this lesson this is not taken from any book or any 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 um, fixed lessons from your book but this is a concept based lesson which is going to come in your mcq examination and cbsc has decided that they're going to give you this kind of questions in your uh, term 1 examination and maybe in term 2 examination also so i hope that you will enjoy this lesson so let us move on to the lesson now assertion and reasoning this is definitely a uh, new concept based lesson this is not from the uh, directly from your book but this kind of questions will definitely come in your examination so make sure that you learn this now children don't be worried about these words re assertion and reasoning this is the lexical meaning this is also the lexical meaning what is the lexical meaning that means dictionary meaning according to the dictionary it is a statement assertion is a statement that you strongly believe something to be true and what is reasoning reasoning means it is a process of thinking about things in a logical way opinions and ideas that are based on logical thinking right but children don't be worried about this uh, lexical meaning you just think assertion is a statement s t a t e m e n t and reasoning is also statement s t a t e m e n t right reasoning is also statement now let us come to clear the concept now what is the concept again i'm coming to this assertion means statement it is a forceful statement it, you can call it a fact and it can either be true or false right now what you need to do here just check whether the statement is true or false don't worry read the statement if i say that sun rises in the east it is a statement you will just decide whether it is true or false right now we come to the reasoning reasoning is also a statement but it rationalizes it gives you the reasoning it helps you to find the reason behind certain statement right so here also a statement okay so assertion s t a t e m e n t statement statement now children now let us move on to what you need to do here now just see whether this statement is also true or false so what you have to do so assertion whether it is true or false and reasoning whether it is true or false right so this is the very first step that you need to do and then move on to the next now these are the options option means these are the options it will be given in the exams you have to choose from these four options what are these four options a both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of a b a is false but r is true c both a and r are true but r is not the correct explanation of a and d a is true but r is false hmm? so these will be the options and you have to choose from this now how to solve this question this kind of assertion and reasoning questions very first thing that you should remember if one of the assertion a or reasoning r is false you don't need to move on to the next step your answer is either this one or this one right don't move on to any any step any explanation no need of any explanation so let us move on to this right so first of all you see whether the statements are true or false both the statements forget about assertion and reasoning just both the statements then you see whether this is true or false next one true or false if both are true then you have to go for explanation part and if any one of them is wrong you don't have to move on to the next step right let us move on to this now in case both are true like if assertion and r are true then you have to choose either a or c now a if both a and r are true 
and R is the correct explanation of A and C if both A and R are true but R is not the correct explanation of A right now let us take some example I have given you an example from the nursery rhyme you all know what is that rhyme Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after up Jack got and home he home did trot as fast as he could caper so this is the rhyme right now let us see the example one assertion Jack and Jill went up the hill this is a true statement right they wanted to bring water yes true look at this to fetch a pail of water to fetch means to bring pail means bucket a bucket of water so they went to bring water so both the statements are true so if both are true your trouble starts where is the trouble here now the solution will be here now you have to choose either this one or this one because none of this will be applicable here now let's see which one will be your option now in solution just take the first statement and use because to get a reasonable answer in the second statement like in the above example Jack and Jill went up the hill because they wanted to bring water I think it is logical right because they wanted to bring water right so R is the correct explanation of the first statement therefore the answer will be a your choice will be a so your answer will be a okay so I hope that you understood this the first concept let us come to the second one again I have taken from the same nursery rhyme Jack and Jill went up the hill very much true reasoning they wanted to see the whole village never they never wanted to see actually they want there to bring water not to see the whole village so one is true one is false so I told you in that case this got cancelled now you have to choose either this or this now you see a is true a is false here a is true and R is false so what will be your answer D will be your option so D is your option right so it is very easy it's not very difficult don't be worried about these exams I know that you all are worried because your exam is knocking at the door now we come to another example see I'm just trying to clear your concept from a literature part and this is a nursery rhyme which all of you know and again I have taken Jack and Jill went up the hill now Jack and Jill went up the hill very much true they took a bucket to bring water very much true now both true means you have to go for the explanation part right now let us see the solution just take the first statement and use because to get the to get a reasonable answer in the second statement like in the the above example Jack and Jill went up the hill because they took a bucket to bring water do you think that this is a logical reasoning no never no it is not the correct explanation of the first statement however both the statements are true so let us choose C both A and R are true but R is not the correct explanation of A so let us choose C for your answer is that clear I hope that you understood now let us have one more uh, idea conception what is that again Jack and Jill went up the mountain just see did they go to the mountain never they went to the hill right they took a bucket to bring water that's true that's true so this one is true this one is false so whenever there is one true one false your answer is very easy this to get cancelled right so you have to choose which one a is false look at this a is false here right a is false and r is true now your option b will be the answer so look at this when any one of the statement is wrong you don't need to go for explanation part here the assertion is false but reasoning is true 
therefore your answer will be b right so let us move on to the next part ha now we take some example from our book from the lesson right you must be wondering sir this board is not giving going to give us jack and jill went up the hill right yes of course board is not going to give you jack and jill but i just wanted to clear the concept based on some literary piece it is a nursery rhyme but it is very true and very very enjoyable very true means it's very true that people enjoy this when you were small you had done it and you know it that's why i took it now let's move on to the explanation part here once again a letter to god from first flight this is example number 5 lencho knew his fields intimately intimately very closely right this is true he knew his field reasoning the only thing the earth needed was a downpour at least or at least a shower it is also true look at this both are true now we come to the explanation part now these are the options here he will be given by the board now solution just take the first statement and use because to get the reasonable answer in the second statement like in the above example lencho knew his fields intimately because the only thing the earth needed was the downpour or at least a shower no it's not a logical inference it's not a logical conclusion so i don't think that the that the second statement i mean this reasoning is the is the um, proper explanation of assertion right so in this case no r is not the correct explanation of the first statement a however both the statements are true according to the story if you read the story you will find both the statements are true so here the answer will be c because both a and r are true but r is not the correct explanation of a so in this case you will cho choose c for your answer right i believe you have cleared the concept i mean i could help you to clear the concept of reasoning and um, assertion now we have another example from a poem dust of snow the we a crew the we a crow shook down on me the we a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day i had rued yes students in this poem let us see the assertion part the poet's heart was changed yes it is true according to the poetry look at this line second stanza look at this has given my heart a change the poet's heart was changed this is true fine now let us come to the second part reasoning the crow shook down dust of snow the crow shook down dust of snow yes it is true uh, look at the first part i mean the stanza the way a crow shook down on me shook down on me right the dust of snow so it is also true now let us come to the conclusion part here look at this now just take the first statement and use because to get a reasonable answer in the second statement like in the above example the poet's heart was changed because the crow shook down dust of snow up upon him right so r is the correct explanation of the first statement a that is assertion therefore your answer will be a right okay so a is your answer all right so both a and r are true very nice and r is the correct explanation of a right the crow shook down dust upon dust of snow upon the poet and the poet's heart was changed so that is wonderful example from your text lesson poetry now children dear friends now we have another part of it that is it is one and two type though it comes under assertion and reasoning but it is also a logical inference that means you have to understand different kinds of logics right you have to understand dear students you have to understand different kinds of logics right here there are a few words that you have to take care of 
inferring right inferring means inferring an opinion or deciding that something is true on the basis of information available right we will see two different statements and you will see that they will be mm, one statement supports the other one the other statement does not support the first one etc then proceed proceed means to happen before something or come before something or somebody in order right preceding incident independent of independent of means not connected with or influenced by something right not connected with each other and the next one the last one effect effect means result now let's take an example from a very famous Aesop's fable that is grapes are sour you all all know that this story this fable here the fox was roaming all around for this for the in search of some food or water whatever it is and he came to a vineyard where he found a bunch of grapes hanging high he jumped many times but he could not reach the grapes finally he was dissatisfied and he moved away from the place saying that the grapes was sour that's it now let us see the statement the fox jumped high many times to reach the grapes yeah yeah it is true according to the story the fox was tired of jumping right yes maybe he the fox was very much tired of jumping now let's see question uh, statement I mean the option a one can be inferred from two one can be inferred from two what is one the fox jumped high many times to reach the grapes now one can be inferred means you get the result i mean the answer one from two the fox was tired of jumping no i don't think that you will get this statement i mean statement one from statement two no so it cannot be inferred one cannot be inferred from two rather you can infer two from one fox was tired because it was jumping many times right now come to option b two is independent of one no i don't think so J jump the fox was tired and the fox jumped high many times so there is a relation between these two statements so I can't say that B is I mean option B is independent I mean option B is correct two is independent of one I can't say that so option B is also going to be cancelled here right now we come to the next part of it what is the next part now look at this two precedes one right two precedes one now here look at this let us just have a look at this two precedes one fox was tired of jumping the fox jumped many times so do you think that the fox was tired before jumping so can you say that two precedes one no so i don't think this can be right no none of this is right so let us carry on with this now two is the effect of one two is the effect of one the fox was tired of jumping yeah and the fox jumped many times high jumped high many times so i think this is the effect two is the effect of one so this is the correct option so d is the correct option right so you understood children this is the concept of different kinds of a and one and two type of reasoning now let's come to another example taken from your lesson only lesson a letter to god look at this lencho's soul was filled with sadness sure you can say that the corn was totally destroyed of course the corn was destroyed so now see one can be inferred from two now Lencho's soul was um, filled with sadness uh, 
and the con was totally don't you think that lencho's soul was filled with sadness all because of the con was totally destroyed so you can infer this one from this so you can answer this question of this question answer a will be the option correct option so these are not going to be the correct option so if one the first one is correct but you can check uh, one is independent of two you no know, they are relation related and one precedes to lencho soul was filled with no uh, i don't think that lencho will be sad before the con is destroyed so it cannot be true and two is the effect con was totally so no it is also not the correct option so this three are wrong this is the correct options right so here a is the correct option all right now we come to <clears throat> the next part next example 9 from nelson mandela look at this south african jets helicopters and troops carrier rolled in perfect formation over the union buildings right this is a statement taken from the lesson nelson mandela and Thabo Thabo Mbeki Thabo Mbeki was sworn in as the first deputy president right Thabo Mbeki was sworn in as the first deputy president now here look at this uh, this is in option it is a it is an opinion south african jets is it an opinion no it is a fact it happened right according to the story it is not a fact it is opinion uh, it is a fact not opinion now b one is the answer and two is the question not at all two precedes one two precedes one means we call now thabo mbeki thabo mbeki was sworn in as the as the two precedes one so thabo mbeki t a j b thabo mbeki was sworn in yes it is you can proceed i mean he was president and in honor of his being president and nelson mandela as being president uh, sworn in as a president then only this thing happen so you can put it first i mean it can proceed statement one so this will be the correct options right c is the correct option and two is the, let us check this one d two is the correct uh, two is the effect of one two is the uh, was sorry no uh, it is not the effect of rather this one one can be effect of two right so this also is wrong option so these are wrong and c is the correct option right children now we have another example from the text lesson of the book two stories about flying have taken the first part his first flight look at this the young seagull was alone on his ledge his two brothers and his sister had already flown away a day before now look at this uh, one follows two one follows two means one comes after two his two sisters and his two brothers and his sister had already flown away the day before yeah okay so one is coming up i mean one follows two right one follows two that means <clears throat> young seagull was alone and sad so i think you can choose this one as your correct option and let's see the other options so a is the correct option let's see the other options b is dependent to is dependent to his two brothers and sisters had already flown away b is not dependent on one right so wish and reality no it is not true it is true and false two is true yeah and brothers second one is not false so these three are wrong so the first option is your correct option for your answer right children now let us come to the last example i believe that i've been able to make this thing this concept clear if you have any doubt you can write in the comment box let us take the last option a tiger in the zoo very very famous and very very important poem of this syllabus this term one section in stanza 3 look at this 
he should be snarling around houses he means the tiger at the jungle sage baring his white fangs his claws terrorizing the village terrorizing the village right now look at this statement one the poet feels the tiger belongs to the wild and the next one <clears throat> the tiger is caged right now look at this two is the solution and one is the problem one is the problem not at all one is tiger feels it is not a problem all right so this is wrong option if one of the of the fact or opinion or whatever it is in logical inference is wrong just cancel that one okay and b one is the explanation for two one is the explanation the poet feels tiger belongs to the one is the explanation for the uh, two no it is not an explanation for the two maybe a statement right okay so c look at this c one is opinion and two is fact this is fact definitely tiger is case this is a fact and the poet feels this is an opinion poet feels when you are feeling something this is your opinion right so uh, c is the correct option and let us just check one is cause and two is effect cause one is the cause poet feels tiger belongs to the world uh, one is the cause no uh, tiger is case no 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 it is also not correct option so one is not the cause and two is not the effect so let us choose c as your option for the answer right children so i hope that you understood this concept of uh, reasoning then one to type and different opinion and fact etc children it will help you in the preparation for your examination a few questions will come from this concept and not only that not only in english you will have this type of questions questions in all the subjects so if your concept is if your concept is clear so you will be able to answer in any subject and that will help you build up your strong knowledge about reasoning and it will help you in future also most of the public examinations they use this uh, reasoning test assertion and reasoning and opinion and fact and everything okay i hope that you have liked this video if you have liked it please um, subscribe to the channel and if you have liked it you can share it with your friends and i'll be coming with more and more videos like this henceforth and if you want to go for the text of this lesson you can visit my channel as well as you can visit my website paul academy that is paul mashi that is at paul mashi dot com right paul mashi dot com so visit that one so before i conclude i would like to say a big thanks to all of you because this video was pretty long and you have been watching it for so long thank you very much for watching so bye for now till we meet again in the next video that's all